Essentials Cooking, brought to you by Food Lion. Get your lion's share. Learn to make a new dish that could quickly become one of your favorites. Greg Hare from Stratford University is joining us this morning with more, and you've already wowed us with some of the <laughs> ingredients that you brought this morning. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. What are we making? We're doing a little pesto chicken with peppers and olives. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So we have our nice hot pan here. Okay. We're going to give it just a smidge of oil. We can tell our pan's nice and hot. See how fast that oil moves uh -huh. around? Gorgeous stuff. We're going to take our peppers, onions. We're using some red sure. onion for a little sweetness. Put it all in? Put it all in. Okay. Put it in. Come on. I'm a little nervous. Oh, this you're all right. It's starting to fly up. That one is good. Okay. Okay. That already smells good. Get a little stir. Yeah. I've Let's never made my own pesto before. This is looking good. Well, the pesto, we made it at the college. Uh -huh. It's just an emulsion of fresh basil, right. garlic, pine nuts, um, Parmesan cheese, and olive oil. So we could make that ourselves, and too. By all means. Okay. A little blender. Um, I can send you guys a recipe for that if you guys wish. Please do. All right. We're going to let them cook down a smidge more. We're going to throw in a little cream. Mm -hmm. Get that base for our sauce. And we have our pesto here. We're going to give it a couple tablespoons of pesto. Very good. All right. You want to give that a stir? I would love to. Thank you. Nice assistant over here. <laughs> I do what I can. Mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot here every time mm -hmm. you guys come in. All right, and this is easy. When you think about kids coming home from school here, coming up in the next few weeks, Correct. this would be an easy meal to, to get to them and healthy. That's Talking totally about easy. fresh ingredients. And then we have our sliced olives. Oh, yeah. You can get them canned already sliced, so you can get whole pitted and slice them up yourself okay. however you wish. We have just a little calamata here for some added salt, so we don't need too much okay. seasoning in that arena. We're just going to throw just a smidge of pepper in here for, for some flavor. My goodness, that smells so good. There we are. As you can see, I have some orzo. Some rice-shaped pasta already cooked with yep. some chicken, again, cooked. You have leftover chicken. Doesn't have to be chicken. It can be beef, shrimp, whatever you have hanging around. And then we're just going to take our... <clears throat> Look how beautiful take that our looks. And is that... I smell just, garlic. I smell the Parmesan, uh -huh. the, the onions, all of that. And nice combination of flavors. Just Right. And there you go. Oh, my goodness. Great. That looks You're really good. Very, very good. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming in. Quick, easy, in a matter of minutes, we had that made. Ooh, How much would you line. say that would serve? That would serve for uh, three to four people comfortably. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, if you want to learn more on this recipe, log on to foxbaltimore.com slash morning.